friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have a beer for you from Sweetwater Brewing out of Atlanta, Georgia. This is their Happy Ending uh, 2013 vintage. It's a uh, an Imperial Stout uh, that they brew for to celebrate the new year, and this is the 20, like I said, the 2013 vintage, uh, 9% alcohol by volume Imperial Stout. Uh, I don't think I have had a chance to get a review of this done before, so I wanted to get. Uh, Give it a try and give it a taste and uh, let you know what I think of it. So, uh, as is usual with some of their special releases, they have a waxed uh, waxed bottle top here. So this is always a fight to get into these. Uh, it's cool looking, but it's a fight. <laughs> Just gonna cut it right here below the cap. Okay, we finally got the. Uh, <laughs> the wax off of here enough to where I can get this uh, get this open it up uh, just a traditional sweet water blue and red cap on the top there uh, seem like quite a bit of carbonation there and that is black as black can be that's that's really dark <laughs> That's, that's motor oil dark there. Okay, so you get this poured out. Um, as you saw, as I, was, as I was pouring it, it is black, black, black. Really black. <laughs> um, I know I'm, I'm saying that a lot, but I haven't seen a, seen a stout this dark in a long time. Um, very uh, uh, sort of a medium brown head. It is sticking around uh, a good bit, so that's nice. Let's see what the aroma is like. Getting sort of a uh, chocolatey, like a dark chocolate sort of aroma to it. A little bit of coffee and a little bit of hoppiness on the back end of that also. Um, yeah. So I'm ready to uh, dig into this, give it a taste, and let you know what I think. Cheers. That's really good. I'm getting like a lot of a lot of chocolate in the flavor, uh, just like a really smooth, rich, deep, dark, uh, dark chocolate. Uh, really rich flavors. Nothing in the way of alcohol burn or anything. Uh, nothing to let you know that this is a nine percent. The the body is a sort of medium to heavy body. Uh, it's not real sweet. It's 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 nice and dry. If you like a sweeter stout, this is probably not for you, but if you like a sort of a drier, dark chocolate rich sort of stout, this is definitely good. Nice amount of hoppiness there to uh, you know help balance things out, keep it from being sweet, but uh, it's not it's not hop forward, you know, there's you get a little bit of hops in the aroma, but in the flavor it's just all dark chocolate. But really nicely carbonated, nice body. It's very silky smooth drink. Oh, this is this is great. Okay, folks. So I'm getting near the end of this uh, Sweetwater Brewing's Happy Ending Stout for 2013 vintage. This is you know, one they one they brew every year. Uh, uh, excellent, excellent Imperial Stout. Uh, very dry, hoppy finish on it. Uh, nice sort of uh, smooth, rich, dark chocolate sort of silkiness to the to the to the beer. Um, really, really nice, uh, tasty uh, imperial stout. Different than a lot of imperial stouts are. A lot of imperial stouts tend to be a lot sweeter. If you like a sweeter imperial stout, uh, this is not for you. But if you like um, if you're one that typically likes a dry stout, a dry Irish stout, and you want something something with a little more meat to it than, than, a, than a, you know, a traditional dry Irish stout is pretty light. Uh, if you want something with some meat to it, then this is definitely uh, right up your alley. Just really, really nice and dry and, and roasty and chocolatey and just uh, wonderful. So with that being said, I'm going to give the uh, Sweetwater Brewing Happy Ending. I'm going to go a 9 out of 10 on this one. I really like it. I will... I may not buy another bottle this year, I may not try to find another bottle this year, but certainly every year this will be something I'll buy at least one bottle of. It's pretty reasonably priced. I think it was around $6 for a bottle. Uh, very reasonably priced for a bomber here. And uh, 
uh, if you're here in the southeast, I would imagine Sweetwater is pretty easy to get. They're pretty pretty well pretty well known here in the southeast. Um, but definitely, definitely recommend getting this beer if you can. Uh, wonderful, wonderful beer. So, I want to thank you for watching. You can check out this review and more over at craftbeergeek.com. And if you feel like doing some Amazon shopping, please use the Amazon link on the uh, craftbeergeek.com website. And we will, we will get a portion of any, any purchases you make. And it won't cost you any extra. And uh, you'll be helping us to make the show. So, uh, I thank you for watching. And remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. We'll see you next time. Cheers.